Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going through CapCut, a video editor, and we're going to be comparing the free plan versus the paid plan. So let us get in. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to CapCut.com and you will see that this is their homepage. Now, um, if you are an avid uh, video editor you'll know that um, it's very difficult to find good software out there okay CapCut as um, as a free version is fantastic some of the things that CapCut actually offers um, is things that we are all looking for such as um, watermarks right they have no watermarks on their videos there is no uh, evidence of cap cut on your videos when you export them okay they also give you fantastic um, exporting options okay right so if we go out here I'm gonna just open cap quite quickly and some of the things that we can actually do here um, when you are accessing your your video that you want to export when you're exporting it you have so many options so once i tap on export on the top right hand side over here you can export video you can export only audio that's a fantastic feature i love it you can choose where it goes and you can rename it that means you can organize yourself there's different resolution options there are different bit rate options different codec options um different formats frame rates so this is fantastic if you are wanting to edit in a more advanced sort of scenario okay but having a look at what the free version offers it, it gives you so much if you're just sort of editing basic videos and and you sort of still in the learning process of your video editing journey then it's a good idea to go ahead and stick with the CapCut free version you can also use CapCut on your mobile device and you can uh, sign in with the same account and you can um, use it both on your mobile device on the go and on your desktop I prefer using desktop version because it just feels nicer I have more control over what I'm doing okay let's have a look at some of the pro features right these are some of the things that you will need if you are an advanced video editor so you get the cap cut space this is basically um, a cloud where you can save your work and you can access it from a different device so if you are using more than one device say your mobile device and then also your computer you can then access that you also have the removal of filler words now um, for me this is something that I think would be helpful for me because I am um, mm, uh, and all of those kind of words will be removed now what I'm currently doing is I am removing them manually right so that would be an up for me the AI clip shorts that is also something fantastic if you are a creator and you're working on various platforms you may want to um, use this feature to take your long form video and then create short forms from your long form without having to recreate your videos you also have the captions auto translate that's great um i think it's a nice feature and then the enhanced voice and vocal isolation now if you are filming and you're in an area where maybe there's a bit of wind maybe there's a bit of background noise um i've actually i did a wedding a little while ago and I made a video of the ceremony and it was outdoors it was a lot of wind and i couldn't hear what everyone was saying and i actually used the um the enhanced voice and vocal isolation to actually bring out the vocal so we could actually hear what was going on and it's a fantastic feature um the auto adjust i think is cool if you are sort of doing like color grading you've got your color wheels um the reduced noise I think is also an awesome feature uh, you can enhance images with the pro feature so you're not only doing video editing but you can actually use it as an image editor uh, you've got the relight which is also great if you're doing um, uh, color grading and, and that sort of thing and then um, auto reframe not such a fantastic feature the AI movement uh, not really camera tracking I think is a fantastic feature and then also having a look at um, the stabilization and blur features now these are if you are filming and you want to uh, change what your video looks like after you filmed it so you want to do some special effects in post now let's say you were going ahead and your your video is not very stable now you can use the stabilization and it's got two features it reframes it in two different ways so you can either have it reframed frame by frame or you can have it um, uh, framed in uh, in, in a different way where 
it uses a, a lot more CPU and it gives you a better result right and then you have the blur so if your perhaps your shutter speed on your um, video camera was um, very high um, you want to now create blur in your video this is a fantastic way to add this as an after effect so you, it has motion blur features now with all of these features you probably wonder like what does something like this actually cost okay so we're going to jump back in here and if you have a look what they've got is a monthly seven dollars 99 cents right that's really not bad okay for eight dollars a month you can kind of have all of these features that we went through here and now this is of course if you need these features if you don't need these features to be very honest from a very personal opinion that's uh, from somebody that's been using CapCut for a very long time to do uh, an array of different types of videos uh, CapCut the free version is amazing it really really is amazing in terms of what features they offer and what you can actually do with CapCut you can make some really really professional uh, looking videos and you can literally just learn by doing now what is it that you think are you currently using CapCut free are you looking to move over to the paid version let us know in the comment section below and um, we will see you in another awesome video happy creating cheers